wouldn't be visible to us these are just to give you an understanding that these are the projectors that will be there and these are the points which are there for us on the uh, cylinder so now the base is like a2 dash this is b2 dash c2 dash d2 dash e2 uh, e2 dash f2 dash g2 dash and h2 dash which is the base now the top will be a1 dash b1 dash and h1 dash i'll write it directly c1 dash and g1 dash this is d1 dash and f1 dash and finally i have this e1 dash so these are the points that are there you can mark it as and how you want uh, it should be in sequence that's it so that when you are drawing the real thing you don't have any problems or you don't encounter any problems okay so now the uh, now comes the calculation part now what calculations am i expecting here okay i shall mark this as my center o yeah the calculation that i need to do is that i need to calculate the circumference i am given a diameter here is 42 mm and the height which is there is 80 mm so i know that this uh, surface that i'll be developing would have a rectangle whose height would be 80 mm i just need to find out the length so for that what i'll do is the length is equal to pi d which is the circumference or you can say that it is 2 pi r if you are calculating with radius so i will calculate it uh, directly with uh, diameter which is pi which is 3.14 or oh, you can i will take it as 22 by 7 into 42 so it gives me directly as if i cut this i will do the calculations for you this is 6 and if i multiply 22 by 6 i get 132 so this is the total length which i have another calculation that i need to do is now i have eight parts now i want to divide this segment into eight parts so that i can have all these points for me so i will divide 132 by 8 which will give me 16.5 this is 16.5 mm that is 1.65 cm which are there So now, uh, what's the next part that we need to do is, we need to extend the projectors like this. Yeah. Then draw the first. Draw one of the lines that are. This is the line which is ge getting developed. and the next is th 132 so it is 13.2 cm so if i zoom in to show you 13.2 cm this is 13 and this is 2 so 13.2 cm So I'll draw a straight line of thirteen point two centimeters or one thirty two mm. Again, the same thing. I'll do upstairs. And I will join this line. Right now, what I uh, the next step that I need to do is I need to divide these into eight parts. and the, which is equivalent to 1 uh, 165 uh, sorry 16.5 mm so it is equivalent to 1.65 cm so i'll take approximate 1.65 cm and i will cut successive arcs successive arcs on these lines and i get a perfect one so i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and again i'll draw it again i'll distribute these also now 
now i'll just join these lines using my pencil because these are not actual visible lines which will be there these are not folds which will be there because in a cylinder there are no folds there it is a perfect circle so these are all no these are just reference lines that we have these are not actual lines the only reference that we have are the points which i am going to mark now so the, uh, this is a1 and a2 as we had in the previous one so b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 g1 h1 and again what comes is a1 here i have b2 c2 d2 e2 f2 g2 h2 and finally again a2 and when i mark this the length is 80 mm then i have and the distance between any two of these you should you should not mark it inside the figure but i don't have any space would be 16.5 mm so this is the solution of uh, the problem number 2 that we discussed so uh, we have come to the end of this session and in the coming session we will solve four more problems of development of surface and complete this chapter of today so be with me we'll be back in approximately 5 to 10 minutes